we've got a thumbnail here, we've got a text block here, and thumbnail images here. None of these are clickable right now. And they want it to kind of be like this website, where you've got these image, these thumbnails where you click them, and the big image changes, and then some text slides down. Okay? And then when you click on this big image, um, you get this kind of effect. So we're actually going to use jQuery Lightbox to do that effect, but let's take a look at how to convert this. Okay? So first thing we got to do, um, let's start with some headers that we're going to need. Uh, jQuery, which is this one, I'm going to add, that's actually his already, uh, jQuery Lightbox and then the jQuery Lightbox CSS file. Okay? So just have those there. So first thing we need to do is... Um, Let's we need multiple text blocks and and multiple of these uh, images. Okay, so let's create multiple text blocks. So let's come down here and find the text uh, which is here. Okay, so let's uh, soft wrap so we can see that. Okay, there's that. So let's actually create some more paragraphs um, that'll make this nice and easy. So let's uh, take <coughs> take the first one. So what we're really going to do is. We're going to have everything inside of these p tags. We're going to have these be divs since they'll be animating, right? So we'll make these divs. Um, we're going to give them all a similar class. So we're going to have a class equals, uh, these are going to be slide text, okay? Just call it slide text. And then I'm going to give it an ID, and that's going to be first thumb, okay? Because it's going to be tied to the first thumbnail, right? So there's that div, and now we're going to close that. So let's copy that, and we're going to have three of them, right? Because there's three thumbnails on the page. So two and three. And this is going to be second thumb, and this is going to be third thumb. Now, I'm actually uh, going to use different text here, just so I can, that way when we switch these, we can see different stuff. So there's that different text, and then here's some more sample text. Okay? So now, if you look at the page, it's going to be crazy, right? It's all over the place. What we need to do is we need to hide all but the first one of these. So let's grab this class. Let's go up here to our script. Okay, let's make some new space for us. We're going to do a function, right? Same as document.ready. Okay, now in here, first thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to hide all of the slide texts, but not the first one, right? But not the first one. So to do that, we're going to grab all the slide texts, not colon first, right, dot, and then we're going to uh, hide. Right, so it's going to hide all but the first one. Okay? So that's how that's going to go. So, next thing we need to do is um, we need to activate these thumb... So let's actually, you know, let's take a look at that. Okay. So maybe I didn't save. No. Save. Refresh. Okay, so now we've got only one. So now we need to make these clickable, these thumbnails down there. So let's go down to where those thumbnails are. Uh, those three are here. Okay, now right now these are images. We need them to be links. So we're going to give those each an href equals, and we're just going to do that for now. Let's unsoft wrap this so it... Ah, maybe that wasn't smart. Where are we? Okay, here. So now, what do we want in the href? Well, uh, in the href, what we really want to have happen is we want to be able to link the uh, the things. We want to be able to link the um, the thumbnails, the, the the text. So we're gonna link everything together. So the the we're gonna use a pound sign because when you use a pound sign, it's like an anchor tag and it doesn't go anywhere, right? So we're gonna use a pound sign, and the pound sign also is how you do an ID selector, right? So this is gonna be first thumb, okay? That's gonna tie in. And then the sec then we're gonna copy that. Oops. Let's copy that. And now that's gonna be second thumb and then third thumb. Okay? So second thumb and then third thumb. Okay? And then we need to close our A tags. Okay? Now uh, I'm gonna refer to all these as a group, right? So I'm gonna give this P tag an ID and that's gonna be called thumbs. Right? So I don't have to in refer to each individually. I could have done that with the text as well, but I'm kind of showing you a bunch of different ways to do this. Okay? So ID equals thumbs. So now what we need to do is we need to add click action to these thumbs. Right? So let's find those thumbs up here. So, uh, second thing we need to do is click on the thumbnails. Right? So we're going to grab that P tag, and we're going to grab all the A tags in it. Okay? And that will be, uh, that should be a dot click. Okay, so dot click, and that's going to be a function. Okay, now, in the click, what do we want to see half happen? Well, first, we need to get that ID. So, we're going to say var ID 
equals this being the current a tag that you clicked that attribute href right which is going to give us the pound something that's our id now what we need to do is uh, we need to grab all of the slide texts and we want to uh, fade them out right so we want to grab all of the slide texts that fade out okay and then we want to do that fast and then when that's done so comma function when that's done <clears throat> we're gonna do another thing and we're gonna grab ID which will which because ID is equal to the href of the link it's gonna grab that specific block of text okay so this grabs the block of text dot slide down now we have one problem here because this slide text applies to a bunch of elements it's gonna fade them all out and then when that's done it's gonna to try to slide them all down so we wanna only grab the slide texts that is visible like that so let's refresh that <clears throat> so now when I click this <clears throat> fades out slides down fades out slides down now you see if I'm down here it pops me to the beginning so we actually need to return false in this click action down here so return false because we don't want anything to happen right so now we're down here and there we go so you can see we're starting to get our action fading out and sliding down fading out and sliding down so now what we know to happen is we need multiple big pictures right we need this picture multiple times so let's go find that big picture which is 300 by okay so that picture right here <clears throat> so what we need to have with that picture is that's column one so these images need to be in divs right and then each of these divs needs to match the ID. So we're going to give it first thumb, just like before. Now you can't have the same ID twice, so we're going to do underscore big, right? <clears throat> and that way, yeah, that's what I want. And this div actually closes that down here. So we need our own closing here. Okay. So now we'll grab that, and we'll put three of these. And this will be first thumb big, and then second, I'm sorry, second thumb second thumb big and then this will be third thumb big right there okay save now again we need column one we need to get all these divs and hide them except for the first one so same thing here we're gonna grab that column one we're gonna grab all the divs and except the first one colon not colon first same thing we before, did before dot hide right so now we've gotten that and hidden them right so now uh, that should only show one image here. Good. Now what we need to have happen is at the same token, when you click this, we want to grab the visible thumb, the, vis the visible big image, and also fade that out. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to delete this colon visible. And we're going to, so right now we have all the slide text selected. We're going to add to that selection, okay? We're going to add to that selection the big image that's selected. So to do that, <clears throat> we're going to add again that's column one right column one div so now we've grabbed so now we've got every single slide text paragraph and every single um, big div and now we're gonna filter all of those by colon visible which will get all of the visible elements so basically it's it's gonna grab that guy and that guy that's basically all it's doing okay and then we're gonna fade out and then we're going to do that. Now we also, not only do we need to slide that down, we need to take this. Now it's that plus underscore big, remember? We add underscore big, and that we're going to actually um, fade in. Okay? So now let's take a look. So now when I click that, boom, and boom, and boom. Obviously, these are the same image because I only had the same image, right? Boom and boom. Okay? So now we need to do the jQuery lightbox effect. So to do that, we actually need, uh, this has to be clickable, right? So to make that clickable, let's go down to our big images here, uh, which were here. And now inside of here, we're going to do a href equals, and I don't have a big image right now. I just have, I just have this, this, so we're going to just kind of do that. So it's going to open the same image. Um, this is, now I'm basically applying jQuery lightbox. So now we're going to close that a tag, close that a tag, and close that a tag. Okay, <clears throat> so now we actually need to grab column one div a and apply jQuery lightbox. So that's going to be up here, and we're going to say boom pound column one div a dot lightbox. Boom. Refresh. When you click it, 
There's our lightbox effect. Close. 